Every Good season cameras. trying to get the best angle as these pictures will appear all over the world from this first ever Cal International. That's why it's called International. All over, all the media, journalists from all over the world, not just the United States, are here covering this inaugural Cal International show. Wrestling back in L.A., Ron Hand. Let's hear it. We're back and we're in full force. Final fall. There must be a winner in this fall. Handel Drummond. Oh, look, you know, I can't even see safe with the hair that's covering him. I mean, I would love to see him lose his hair. I don't know about you, Ron. I would love to see Drummond lose that hair. I would just love to see someone shut him up. You got that right. And shut that idiot Johnny Legend down. You're talking about that psycho manager, uh... You know, he sits in that movie, Children of the Corn 3. He looks like a child from uh, some sort of corn star. Vandal Drummond going up! And a shot right to the throat again. He was working on that throat earlier, trying to keep the breath out of Physico Nuclear. You're absolutely right, Ron, and I think he, uh, Physico doesn't have much left. Uh, Vandal Drummond may ought to think about uh, beating his man. Oh, watch out. Physico trying to get to his feet, muster up something. Photographers all over ringside ready to capture this. Vandal Drummond misses! misses. And that left knee, the left knee. Oh, he's holding his knee and crying in pain in the ring as Vandal Drummond, his physical nuclear goes up to the top rope. Johnny All the Lennon way. Running around outside. Oh, and he misses. Physical nuclear. Still favoring the knee. Belly flop. Vandal Drummond. Come back, wasn't it? No, Johnny. This is not over yet. Photographers all over ringside. Pinko fizz out. Pinko grande. Pinko in the car. Keep your eye on the match there as anything could happen. All right, Vandal Drummond's going up. He's waiting. He's like a lion. Look at him, waiting for his prey. Chuck, and he misses again. Arnie again. Well, that is crack I heard. On his left knee. Physical nuclear. What is he doing? Pulling him back, rearing him in. Submit him the chin. Ask referee Dan Brown to ask him, is this over? Is this over? He gives. and protesting. What's he doing? Bringing the bell. Match is over. My man did not say I quit. When he's been saying all through the match, that Pinko Stinko Grande quit after the last ball, and my man was screaming, hair, hair, hair. The man was pulling his hair. He did not quit. But that's it, Regalado. Drumming, holding off people with the scissors. Come on, you're not in England. We're in La Puente. Look at him pouting, but I'd watch out. He's kicking the chair around and holding a very sharp point of scissors right now, Ron. Trying to hold everyone at bay here. Legend again with the mic. This match, Mexican Chicago has broken teams for here. He won't take his match off. The referee is jealous of the proceeding. Hulk Hogan hairline. Hulk Hogan hairline. Hulk Hogan hairline. Enough. Johnny Legend says, no more. We don't need to cut anymore. But the rules of the match state there will either be a mask removed or the hair will be shaved. And physical nuclear. Teasing. I 
tell you, is that a tear I see in Drummond's eye? Throwing the hair into the crowd. The hair is coming apart here. Johnny Legend running around trying to protest in any way he can. But well, look at him. Kissing his dear hair goodbye. Kiss it goodbye. And the hair is flying its raining hair. Our house is shown a turn in the building with the name of each and every person here as to the exhibit at the trial. We're going to get this in the court before we get this in the court. And this building and that nice idiot who probably wear on a pink coat instead of a green coat is going to be out in the country forever. Oh! Johnny! 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 Johnny Legend collecting the waste and remnants what? of the hair. Oh. As all the press are trying to get a good shot. Vandal Drummond humiliated. Vandal Drummond beat in La Puente, California, defeated. His knee just could not take it. After missing a few knee drops off the top, his knee gave. And here's the end result. A hair cutting right in the middle of the ring. Vandal Drummond probably... The money has been out there from Panagomi Padre, the Amanis and Andy Mall, and this one is going to eat every strand of his cutting tonight. What is Legend talking about? Nuclear is saying you want some of your hair. Regalado at his side. Vandal Drummond. Looking up. Nuclear extending the hand of friendship after going out with honor, trying to cover his hair, what's left of it with whatever he had. Wait a minute, Stefan De Leon in the ring. Both of them commiserating together as physical nuclear all alone. What is going on here? A conference and an embrace. After pulling out all stops, the winner. You know what it's like to be hurt? <laughs> Vandal Drummond is very, very hurt. He knows what it's like. He hates that. Bend over and take it like a man. <laughs> Physical nuclear. With the souvenir. The hair of Vandal Drummond. The humiliation. But he took it. The two embracing, a little bit bitter maybe, but once again, fans, your winner, Physical Nuclear. Again, extending his hand in... Physical Nuclear! There you are, admitting the better man, at least tonight. At least today at Cal International Aftershock 94. There's your winner and there's the hair. Physico Nuclear. Well, here we are, Little Hawk Warrior, California International Wrestling Aftershock 94. Well, let me tell you something, Dan Severin, Mr. NCAA. You are going to get a wrestling lesson professionally by the pro of pros by one sick, twisted, hell-bent individual who definitely belongs to the state of California Correctional Institution. I am here to show you the difference between the pros and the amateurs. And when you're done, you'll probably go back 
to amateur because you'll decide there's a lot more of the pro side than you ever thought about. Hey, Cal, California, ooh, I'll be back. You don't like it? I don't care. Yeah. the first of our two big main events. Dan Farron, jack of all trades. Yeah. They call him Dan the man. Here's why. belt in judo karate, a three-time Arizona state champion, international desert champion in judo, as well as Sambo national champion from 1977 all the way to 94, AAU Sambo world champion in the master's division, and a tremendous athlete all around the booth. contrast of styles here. There's the bell. We're underway. Dan Severin with a tremendous collegiate amateur and professional background. And then there's Hawk, who went to school. That's that? the school. And I know you know which school I'm talking about. Hard not. Amazing matchup. Dan Severin wrestles in Japan for the UWFI, one of the toughest federations on anywhere in the world and a two-time NCAA champ so he's got all the credentials but you know who he's going against one half of the greatest tag team ever the mighty road warriors we're talking about Hawk AWA champ NWA champ WWF tag team champ all the tag team championships Animal and Hawk have held and Hawk is right here in the first ever Cal International Wrestling Show. I tell you though, Dan Severin does not care about those kind of credentials. Not at all. Taking Hawk down with a single leg takedown. Rearing back, Hawk of course holding the coal holder of the IWGP Tag Team Championship with Power Warrior in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Both these two frequent the nation of the rising sun. Hawk with a clean break. Referee Dan Farron on top of everything as usual. What a tremendous night here. Locking up the power behind both these. Hawk this time, not a clean break. Just pounding away at the back of seven. I said it's amazing. Teams at the Power War Warrior to form the Hell Raises in Japan. But you know what? Hawk is not in a tag team. As you can say, it's very rare to see Hawk wrestling by himself. No one to tag to. And 
and uh, that's his forte, tag team. So this is a very interesting match. Perhaps if Dan Severin's ever to beat him, it's in a one-on-one -on -one match, Ron. I tell you, it's a completely different strategy. And right now, it looks like Hawk's trying to wear him down, dropping the patented fist. And gets a count of two earlier on in this matchup. Road Warrior Ooh. Hawk with a hard, chop. thundering chop. You can hear that all the way down to probably Palm Springs off the rope. And there's shoulder a shoulder tackle. tackle. One, two. Severn kicks out, I'll tell you. Referee Dan Fair in a position. Wait, another cover? No. Only two again. And Severn in a little bit of trouble right now. Hawk all over him. A uh, close fist. Dan Farron warning about that. These two. Nope, he looks. I tell you, that has a lot of experience in there. Both these rushes. This is an amazing match to ever see. Hawk slamming Severin to the mat. And here goes Hawk. Hawk oh. might just fly tonight. Photographers from all over the world here to see this match. Hawk goes down. Oh! Misses and, and misses. lands right on his knees. Severin, I don't know if he's going for a cover. Nope. Getting Hawk up to his feet. Carries him up. Powers him up oh. and power slams him down. One, two. Only a two count, boy. And it will be, you got to do a little more to Hawk to pin him than that. You know that, Ron. What a feather in the cap, however, of Dan Severin as he slams slam. him down. Excellent a victory slam. over one half of arguably the greatest tag team in the history of wrestling. Absolutely. As a single Boston Crab, Hawk, however. Referee Dan Farron asking him. Trying to make Hawk submit, at least try to wear him down. Hey, Hawk, Hawk wouldn't give up for that in a million years. You know that, Ron. But I'll tell you, though, there's pain on his face. You can see it. Well, Look at the face of Hawk. That leg being worked on, as well as missing the drop from the top. Hawk just might be in some kind of danger here. He, of course, had that leg broken years ago and it has never really healed properly. Which is good homework on Severin's behalf because he knows what he had to do and come in here. And that may be the way to beat him. Make him give up, uh, submit, and uh, he knows the weak part. That might be the only weak part of Hawk. Might have been a, a broken leg a long time ago. But as I say, that's the toughest rest I think you'll ever see anywhere in the world. Double tough. Both these men with the big fighting heart, bigger Ooh. than maybe all of La Puente as he drops the elbow. Again, dropping the elbow. This is very smart wrestling on Dan Severin's part. He got a credit. He's going for that half Boston crowd again, grabbing the leg, just jerking the knee. I mean, I'll tell you one thing. Severin's done his homework. I think he thinks this is the only way to beat Hawk. Hawk's got no one to tag to today. There's no animal. He's going I mean, to the no corner. There's no power warrior. Uh, <laughs> Hawk yelling out that he's trying to break it. He's trying to move his way over to the ropes. And you know what? He's about an inch away. Half Almost. inch away. Nope. Severin rears back and pulls him away from the ropes. The Dan crowd. Dan right on top of the crowd. I think it's in shock. So. They've never seen Hawk manhandled like this. No, you're absolutely right. They're used to seeing Hawk in a battle Ooh. of fisticuffs. Ooh. That's what Hawk forte is. And there he goes again. And pounding away on the back of Severin. Putting the boot to his back to the side. All over Severin. The talker is kind of getting out of the way. And listen to Hawk. Listen to the grunt. Listen to the growl. As he goes to work on the back of Severn. Whoa! Shoving the referee. I don't know about that. Referee Dan Farron going all the way to the other side. Ring the bell. And there goes Dan Farron. There goes Hawk. decision there. We're going to get an official ruling again right now, matchmaker Larry Doyle. We have an official ruling. Dan Farron has declared Road Warrior Hawk disqualified. Dan Severin is your winner. A mixed reaction from the crowd, however.
people unhappy. However, you do not touch the officials here at Cal International. I don't think I've ever seen Hawk do that. Just, you know, he actually pushed, pushed Farron out of the ring about 15, 10, 15 feet. Farron jumped right onto his butt. And I guess uh, had to hit the road when Hawk chased him and uh, comes back to get his official decision. And Hawk was disqualified four minutes and eight seconds into the match. Possibly a sign of desperation. Hawk not used to have people come at him. <laughs> you got Dan that Farron. right. Can you imagine the fear running through Dan Farron being chased out of the building by someone like Road Warrior Hawk? The fear that must have been running up and down Dan Farron's body. He looks pale, you know? He looks hurt, he looks hurt a little pale. And now he's got a back there. Now he's got a referee a match, and you're going to see Al Snow and the most dangerous man in wrestling coming up to Taboo. Dan Farron better be ready. I don't know if he is. Look at him. He's I, really shaken up, he and he's got to get in there with not only the most dangerous man in wrestling, he has to referee a match with Al Snow and the most dangerous man on earth, unquestionably. You will see it here next in part two of our double main event here, Cal International Wrestling. Aftershock 94. of our double main event here at Aftershock 94. I don't know, Ron. I put on my running shoes. I think you did, too. I don't know. I don't trust any of these guys anymore, especially after what we just saw. Look at the unorthodox taboo. Look at the scars on this guy's spot. Unbelievable. When the camera will get a chance, it will zoom in, and it will show. Oh, uh, Sabu. This match sometimes will be so quick. So hard to call. Actually, Ron, this may be a first in wrestling history. We're calling this match. On the run. We are on the mobile unit here. I don't know if any two wrestling announcers are able to do this, but we'll try to pull it off our best. Look at this stab move. You can tell in his eyes. He's nuts. Absolutely unpredictable and crazy. Making it in at the eight count. Al Snow, however, may be the one who can tame the unpredictable, dangerous Sabu. Getting a high knee into the jaw from Sabu. And a kick sending Al Snow down. Sabu. With his manager, Damien. Look at this Damien. Look at the face. Damien looks like one creepy individual. I can't believe the face. I don't think 
blood dripping down. Make who, who the Sabu looking to those guys' legendary matches. Two Cold Scorpio Cactus Jack and Terry Funk are already considered classic matches. These guys' feuds are legends. Comes in with the clothesline, and let's not forget the classic ladder match he's had with Chris Candido in San Jose. Unbelievable. I heard all about that. Almost destroying manager J.R. Benson to the delight of the many fans on hand. We want swear. What else? No. So far, ooh. Vicious kick down. Flashing down. Al Snow, hand picked by Al Kelsey. Succeed him as one half of the legendary, legendary famous kangaroo. And now Al Snow maintaining the head scissors, a black belt in karate. And his matches have traveled all over this world have already been considered the finest wrestling matches probably of all time. But uh, I don't know. Dan Farron's got his hands full of this one. I'm going to tell you that right now. No question about it. Look at the scars in the back of Sabu. If the camera can get a shot of this. I may have to leave you and run and go for cover. I don't know. Dude, I may have to wish you luck with the, the portable here. Into the corner. Irish whip. Anything could happen here. Missing a roundhouse. Possibly a clothesline. Sabu reversing out. Suplex hitting the Frankensteiner. Covers one. Al Snow reversing one, two. Only a two count. Sabu coming out with the clothesline. Al Snow right back up. And a hip lock takedown into a head scissors. Damien, very, very conspicuous in the corner there. It looks like he could strike at any time. The man with three sixes on his forehead. And look at him slinking about. Very demonic. Very unusual form of a side head. Head scissors, it looks like. Sabu in the rope, wanting to break. And now Al Snow with the body slam. Coming in, slingshots over, misses the leg drop. Tremendous maneuver, but nobody was there. Sabu out of the way. And he hits. Catapulting himself over with the leg drop. One, two, not a three. Dan Farron, after being shaken up in our prior main event, Road Warrior Hawk chasing him out completely of the building here. And Sabu now with a rear chin lock. Hey, everyone on the edge of this. Look at this guy, Damien. Show this guy, Damien. What is he doing? I tell you, Damien. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. He's got a 666 painted on his forehead. I don't know if that's etched in with some sort of uh, knife. Yelling, come on, so I don't know what language he speaks. I can't even tell the, the uh, origin of this guy, but the scariest looking human I've ever seen. I guess uh, he fits with that boom. Right now, I'll start going over. Oh, Joe, and both, both these men. Shoulder. Going out. 